Huang Lingyi, the mother of China's computer chips. Huang Lingyi, a name etched in history, has rewritten the story of China's chip development. How did she lead the China chip to become a global force? In the global battle for semiconductor dominance, China was long a latecomer, facing immense challenges. The country was heavily dependent on imported chips, with annual import costs soaring into the hundreds of billions of dollars, even exceeding oil imports. Foreign companies implemented a technological blockade, refusing to sell key technologies and high-end equipment, in an attempt to keep China's chip industry permanently suppressed. China's chip industry was like a giant trapped in a dark cage, powerful but unable to act. Yet, in this darkest hour, one person stepped forward, Wang Lingyi, the mother of China's computer chips, a childhood forged by turmoil and patriotism. Born in Nanning, Guangxi, in 1936, Huang Lingyi's childhood was spent amidst the chaos of war, with her country ravaged and its people displaced. She witnessed her countrymen being killed by Japanese bombers, and this early experience planted a seed of patriotism in her heart. She vowed to study hard and serve her nation, so that her people would never again suffer such humiliation. Huang Lingyi excelled academically and was admitted to Huazhong Institute of Technology, now Huazhong University of Science and Technology. Later, she was recommended to Tsinghua University to specialize in semiconductor devices, a field that would become her life's work. In 1960, she turned down a teaching position at Tsinghua and returned to her alma mater, where she founded a semiconductor major and China's first semiconductor laboratory. Despite extremely difficult conditions, she led her team to develop China's first semiconductor diode in just over six months. In 1962, Huang Lingyi was transferred to the Institute of Computing Technology at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS. In 1965, the country formed the Institute's second department to tackle bottlenecks in the Two Bombs, One Satellite program, focusing on microcomputers and transistors. This was China's first chip research team. Faced with a severe lack of data, equipment, talent, and raw materials, Huang Lingyi never wavered. She divided her team into three shifts, while she, as a team leader, spent at least 14 hours a day in the lab. After a year of effort, the team successfully developed a semiconductor transistor and assembled China's first space computer, the 156 Component Computer, for the Dong Fang Honglai satellite. This achievement not only marked a solid step forward in China's space program, but also laid the foundation for the nation's chip industry. The Rise and Fall of China's Early Chip Industry For decades, Huang Lingyi remained on the front lines of chip R&D. She participated in the development of China's first self-designed space computer and the 757 10 million times supercomputer, leading her team to overcome one technical challenge after another. In 1978, the chip developed by Huang Lingyi and her team won a significant award at the National Science Congress. By 1984, China's integrated circuit and chip development was rapidly closing the gap with global standards. However, just as China's chip industry was on the verge of a breakthrough, the CAS faced a funding crisis, and large-scale integrated circuit research was forced to a halt. Huang Lingyi was devastated. Was years of hard work to be for nothing? But she refused to be defeated and waited patiently for an opportunity to revive China's chip industry. In 1989, Huang Lingyi attended an international chip exhibition. She scoured the vast venue but couldn't find a single Chinese company. Overwhelmed by a sense of humiliation, she wrote in her diary, A dazzling array, yet none from my homeland. My eyes well up with tears. She made a solemn vow. Even if I have to crawl on the ground one day, I will wash the shame from my country. A second act, the dragon chip. In 2001, at the age of 65, Huang Lingyi was set to retire. Just then, Professor Hui Wu of the CAS issued a rallying cry to build a China chip. He personally sought out Huang Lingyi and invited her to join his team. Despite the lack of funding and other immense difficulties, Huang Lingyi didn't hesitate. She joined the Lungsen Dragon Chip R&D team and became the project leader. On August 10, 2002, 
China's first general-purpose CPU. Lungsun 1 was successfully developed. Although it lagged behind leading foreign chips in performance, it shattered the history of Chinese computers being without a native core. Afterward, Huang Lingyi and her team continued their efforts, developing a series of high-performance domestic chips like Lungsun 2 and Lungsun 3. These chips were widely used in high-speed rail, satellites, and national defense, breaking Western technological blockades and giving China a voice in the chip industry. Huang Lingyi's life was a testament to her dedication to China's chip industry. Her actions embodied the spirit of toil until death. Under her leadership, China's chip industry grew from nothing to a global force, securing a place in the global market. Her story inspires countless Chinese scientists and engineers to work tirelessly toward making their country a technological powerhouse. The China Chip, a new hope for the world. The rise of China's chip industry, particularly the breakthroughs achieved by pioneers like Huang Lingyi, has inestimable significance for global technological development and world peace and security. From a technological development perspective, China's chip progress has injected new vitality into the global tech landscape. For years, Western companies held a monopoly, and the pace of innovation had slowed. The rise of Chinese chips broke this monopoly, spurring global chip companies to innovate. Now, in response to competition from China, companies in the US, Europe, Japan, and South Korea are increasing their R&D investments and accelerating technological innovation. This healthy competition drives global chip technology forward, allowing us to enjoy more advanced and efficient products. In the 5G communication field, Chinese chips have provided powerful support for global 5G network construction. Companies like Huawei, with their self-developed chips and communication technologies, have secured a significant share of the global 5G market. The spread of 5G networks not only makes our lives more convenient but also lays the foundation for emerging industries like remote medicine, smart transportation, and the industrial internet. Imagine a future where doctors can perform remote surgery on patients thousands of miles away via 5G, where autonomous vehicles drive more safely and efficiently, and where factory machines are interconnected, drastically increasing production efficiency. All of these visions depend on the support of Chinese chips. In the field of artificial intelligence, AI, Chinese chips play an equally important role. As AI technology advances, so too do the demands for chip computing power. AI chips developed by Chinese companies have reached internationally advanced levels, providing powerful processing support for AI algorithms. AI technology is now widely used in medicine, education, finance, and security, transforming our way of life. In China, AI is used in disease diagnosis to improve accuracy and efficiency. In education, AI-assisted teaching systems provide personalized learning plans. And in finance, AI is used for risk assessment and fraud detection, ensuring the stability and security of the financial system. All of this is inseparable from China's deep commitment to AI chip development, a beacon of national and global security. From the perspective of world peace and security, China's independent chip R&D has enhanced the country's technological and information security. In today's digital age, chips are at the heart of the information industry vital to a nation's economic lifeline and national security. In the past, China's heavy reliance on imported chips meant that if international relations soured and foreign companies implemented a chip embargo, China's information industry would be at enormous risk. Now, with the rise of its own chip industry, China has achieved a certain degree of self-sufficiency, significantly reducing its technological security risks. In the field of national defense, the use of Chinese chips has enhanced the country's military capabilities. From fighter jets to missiles, from radar systems to satellite navigation, chips play a crucial role in modern military equipment. Self-developed Chinese chips ensure that the country's military hardware is no longer beholden to others, allowing it to better safeguard national sovereignty and territorial integrity. For example, in the Beidou Satellite Navigation System, Self-developed Chinese chips guarantee precise positioning and signal transmission, enabling the Beidou system to provide high-precision navigation services globally. This not only improves the Chinese military's operational capabilities,
but also contributes to maintaining world peace and stability. The development of China's chip industry has also contributed to the stability of the global supply chain. In an era of global economic integration, the chip industry has formed a complex and vast supply chain involving design, manufacturing, packaging, and testing. As the world's largest chip consumer market and a major production base, China plays an indispensable role. The growth of its chip industry not only drives the development of related domestic industries, but also helps stabilize the global chip supply chain. For example, Chinese chip manufacturers provide large-scale manufacturing services to global clients, meeting market demand, while Chinese chip design firms collaborate with global suppliers to drive innovation. Huan Lingyi and the Chinese chip industry she represents are like a shining star in the global technological night sky, radiating a unique brilliance. Their hard work and dedication have not only helped China achieve its dream of catching up and surpassing others in the chip sector but have also made an indelible contribution to global technological development and world peace and security. The future is here, working together. Huang Lingyi has passed away, but the spirit of the China chip she left behind continues to inspire us. In an era of increasingly fierce global technological competition, we need scientists like Huang Lingyi and the spirit of independent innovation more than ever. The rise of China's chip industry is just one microcosm of the global technological wave. In the future, we hope to see more countries and regions leverage their strengths, collaborate, and jointly drive global technological progress. Because only through continuous technological development can we provide a solid guarantee for world peace and security. Let us pay tribute to pioneers like Huang Lingyi and continue to follow technological developments, contributing our part to global progress. If you have any thoughts on the future of China's chip industry or are inspired by Huang Lingyi's story, feel free to share them in the comments section. Let's move forward together on the path of technology.